Tonight, a family is pleading for answers. Kendrick Hemphill was a security guard and father of two. He died after a driver hit him near the U of M's West Bank in Minneapolis. Tonight, more than a week later, he was laid to rest. Lou Ragus spoke to Hemphill's family today. Lou? Randy and Julie, Minneapolis police have provided just one blurry photo so far of the car they're looking for, but Kendrick Hemphill's family knows it's likely damaged from hitting him, and they're asking anyone with suspicions to help. Um, that's us. Emotions are raw for Latoya Hemphill. And then there's us again. Who lost her brother Kendrick just over one week ago. I'm sorry. Kendrick was a 36 year old father of two who grew up in Minneapolis and loved the Vikings and his family. He, at a very young age, just was a protector. He protected his little cousins and he protected me, and I'm older than him, you know. he and he had a really beautiful relationship with my mom. That protective nature extended into his job as a security guard at the Grand Mark Apartments at Seven Corners by the U of M West Bank, where many students live. Kendrick was walking home from there about two miles when he was hit by a car and killed while crossing Hiawatha Avenue at 26th Street East at 325 a.m. Sunday, May 14th. The driver didn't stop, leaving Kendrick's family desperate for answers and with just this blurry picture of the red sedan to go on. So whoever was driving that car is considered if that was your brother or your sister, your mom, your child. Just imagine the agony that your family would go through. LaToya is pleading with anyone who has suspicions about who was driving the red sedan to come forward with tips. It won't bring Kendrick back, but she says it would mean everything to their family. It would be peace. We're not going to be able to rest until something happens, until there's some type of justice, until somebody steps forward. And just because you're getting away with it now doesn't mean you're going to get away with it forever because I will never stop. Again, this incident happened the weekend before last in the early morning hours of Sunday, May 14th, 3.25 a.m. to be exact. It happened on Hiawatha Avenue in East 26th Street. So far, all we know is that the car was a red sedan. You can give tips through Crime Stoppers or by contacting Minneapolis Police.